Right, let's talk child poverty. Back on the agenda at Parliament today, Jorge Harawira's Feed the Kids bill finally having its first reading after being put off twice. The Mana Party hosting an event to feed local Wellington kids at Parliament this morning and party leader Jorge Harawira joins us now live from there. Uh, Jorge, good morning. Now, everyone, politically, the national community would be in full agreement we need our kids to have food in their bellies in order to learn. So just remind us to what extent this bill covers that. Oh, that's exactly what it's about. It's not about um, anything too involved. All we aim to do is provide breakfasts and lunches for Desal 1 and Desal 2 children uh, at schools right throughout the country. There's been a push for early childhood and Kohanga Reo and Desal 3 and Desal 4. I hope that that comes up at Select Committee if it goes through the House today. Uh, yeah, because we're only in the first reading, of course, and Select Committee would allow yeah. the discussion to take, f uh, the full discussion to take place effectively, to hear, to hear all yeah. sides of the argument. The one thing, though, is, is, is the cost, of course. We're looking at 100 million here. Oh, I think, really, Warden, that when, when you talk about children, you shouldn't be talking about cost. This isn't about cost. I mean, nobody seems to blink when we spend $30 million on a yacht race in California. Nobody seems to blink when we spend $150 million sending our troops to Afghanistan. I mean, what we should be doing is saying, is this a priority? And Nelson Mandela says, you can tell the soul of a country by how well they treat their children. If we're not going to feed our children, and we've got 270,000 of them living in, in poverty, 100,000 of them going to school every day without something to eat, then there's something seriously wrong with us as a nation. The argument by many will be, and I'll read you this feedback, here's one example of what some people will be thinking. We're feeding children in New Zealand breakfast and lunch. Where are the parents? Where's the parental responsibility? I believe in feeding the children and do believe by teaching the parents how to manage money, cook basic cheaper meals, maybe more effective. Let's uh, be the help at the top of the clip rather than the ambulance at the bottom. It's a fair point. Oh, I don't have any problems with that either, quite frankly. Mm. but. While everybody's talking about these programs on parental responsibility and on more jobs and on uh, raising the uh, living wage to a certain level, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, our kids continue to go hungry. Now, they've been talking about the parental responsibility argument for some time now, and yet every single day, more than 100,000 children are going hungry. All I'm saying is, let's feed the kids now, let's commit to feeding the kids now until such time as everybody's got a job, everybody's in a space where they have enough income, they have enough focus, they have enough commitment to make the right choices about what's happening with their families. Uh, you've, you've, this covers off all Decile 1 and 2 schools, so even the children whose parents probably, who aren't living below the poverty line will have access to this. But uh, by the same token, those children who are below the poverty line in other, in other Decile schools won't have access to this, as far as I read it. How do you, how do you make sure all kids get the benefit? Uh, that's been brought to my attention by a number of people, including Iritana Tafifirangi and the Kohanga Reo and the Early Childhood uh, Education Centres movement. And I said, look, let's get this to select committee, raise it there. I'd be happy to broaden the scope to include everybody. And I think the best thing to do is to include as many children as possible. And then if you want to cut back for, 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 for parents who say, I don't really need it, that's fine. But once you've got 100% cover, you can then cut it back to make sure that you are definitely getting all children in need. All right, Hone Harawera, thanks for your time. Mana Party leader. Kia ora.